Welcome to a Motor Pilot Story Time. You know, the crazy thing about life is how in one day your life can totally change. Maybe you meet a new girl, the woman of your dreams, or you end up with the bike of your dreams. That's what this story is all about. You know, the funny thing is, I didn't even have my eye on this bike, the uh, 2016 Aprilia RSV4 RR. A little over a year ago, when I bought my Suzuki 1000, it's kind of like a naked bike, I actually had my eye on the Aprilia Tuono, which is, you know, like their naked bike, you know, the more comfortable, upright bike, because I needed something practical, something for commuting. You know, I commute to work and back every day, five days a week, and, um, but I always saw the RSV4 at the dealership, and I thought, my God, that bike is just wicked. But the funny thing is, I never even, I never even dreamed of getting one. I just thought it's too out of reach, it's too expensive, it's too much of a bike, it's too, it's just too fast, or I don't know what, it was just, I just didn't think about it, you know? I guess it was that much of a dream. So the story goes, I wanted to put fresh brake fluid in my Harley. You know, I wanted to go to the dealership to get it. Malcolm Smith Motorsports in Riverside is a, you know, a dealership that carries Aprilia. I just went there one day to get me a little jug of brake fluid. And every time I go in there, I would always just go look at the Aprilia section and just like, oh my God, these bikes are so beautiful. And I love how aggressive they look and how racy they look. And they're just, they're just an amazing exotic machine. So I'm in the dealership and I'm walking out with my brake fluid. I go over to look at the Aprilias. Well, they had this bike sitting on the floor. It was on a, like a 2016 closeout and they had it marked down three thousand dollars i was like what you know my brain starts turning and i'm like you know i went from not really even thinking about ever having one of these bikes to wow dude that's kind of a hard bargain to pass up but i just bought my suzuki 1000 and it wasn't even a year old yet and i'm like well you know, if I want to sell my Suzuki 1000, by the time I sell it, the, the bike for the Aprilia will be gone. So that's not going to work. So I go home that night and I'm laying in bed and I'm literally, I cannot get that Aprilia RSV4 off my mind. I think I got about five seconds of sleep. I'm laying in bed. I'm like, how am I going to get that bike? How am I going to get that bike? Where am I going to get the money for that bike? How am I going to afford that bike? You know, I just, I had a brand new bike payment on my Suzuki. And, and I'm like, God. I thought to myself, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the down payment out of my uh, savings account. I think I put down like 3000 And I'll buy the bike. And then I'll put my Suzuki for sale. And when that sells, you know, I'll no longer have that payment. If I make any money at all, which I probably would maybe just break even, at least I'd be out of that bike payment. Yeah. I didn't even tell the wife about it. I was just like, okay, I'm gonna do it. So I wake up the next morning, it's a Saturday, and my buddy is actually the uh, sales manager down there. I start texting him first thing in the morning and I go, hey man, I want that RSV4, do you still have it? He finally texts me back, he goes, he goes, yeah, it's still there. Um, you know, do you want me to hold it for you? And I'm like, yes. This was before the shop even opened that day. So literally when the doors opened, I was there waiting. I go walking into the dealership. I go walking straight to the bike and it's got a big sold sign on it. And my heart dropped. I'm like, cause my sales manager friend was actually at Havasu at the river. And I thought, oh man, they sold it and he didn't know about it. Oh my God, I was heartbroken. So I go walking up and I look at the for sale sign and it's got my name on it. And I can't explain the sensation of seeing my name written on that salt sign hanging on a brand new 2016 Aprilia RSV4RR. I was so giddy, it was ridiculous. So yeah, I mean, that's how I ended up getting the bike. It's, it was just a crazy story. I went from being, okay, I have my Suzuki 1000 GSXS. It's not very exciting to me but it's a bike and it's new and it's fresh to having most people's dream bike 
and I didn't see it coming. It's just like that. I went in for brake fluid and came out with this bike. And I have to say, to this day, I, I look at this bike every day in my garage. I only ride it like one or two days a week. I don't want to rack up a bunch of miles on it. It's just a uh, freaking such an exciting machine to own. The thing is, I still have the Suzuki 1000. I just kept it. I said, you know what? I need to keep this bike for racking up a bunch of miles, going to work and back every day. I can't do that on the Aprilia. So you never know yourself. One day, you your life can change in any direction. Anyways guys, hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, comment. Let's hear them comments. I'll see you guys next video.